an amazing intro <laughs> i mean seriously i just got goosebumps right there uh yeah hello and welcome to my let's play of against the moon against the moon is a new strategy game turn-based strategy game uh also sometimes tagged with a roguelike tag and uh, it definitely has some deck building uh, gameplay mechanics to it so yeah this sounds really interesting uh, story wise from what we've just seen and also gameplay wise so yeah i'm uh, i'm really excited for this one and it's gonna release right about the time that i release my video so as always i'll put a steam link down below in the description so that you can check out the game for yourself if you decide to do so so uh, yeah i'm excited i uh, i want to get this started so let's click the start mission icon right here and um yeah, I, I guess we start with the prologue. This uh, this seems to be more like the story mode on the right side, and this might be maybe the roguelike part. I'm not sure. So yeah, let's start the prologue. Prologue, dynamic story about battle with the most powerful servants of the moon, Furos Delecti. Scenario rules. One arc's sarcophagus is fully healed after each battle. Two preset group of Altori. Three ability to replay lost battles. Unlocks monstro mission. All right, let's get this started. Uh, okay, seems like it has to load maybe. Yeah, arcs, all right. The last stronghold of humanity on earth. The planet is now fully under the control of the Furos, a vicious species designed by humans centuries past, but now guided by the corrupt moon. The ancient city's infrastructure and defenses are badly degraded and require a constant supply of Luma, that enigmatic energy source upon which so much relies. With the human population in steady decline, faces everywhere are downcast and grim. Hope is fading. Okay, so Luma is the energy source. Okay, um, sure, let's get this started. Galdir, one of Ark's most famous Ulturi, sensed an unusual warp in the universal Luma flow. He was busy training a squadron of new recruits for the city guard. Recent data predicted more than 25% of them will die during their first year of service either from the unrelenting moonstorms or during city maintenance operations. Despite these foreboding numbers, every student was quietly content to be training with the legend. Galdir was careful to conceal his unease about the Luma field from the youngsters. His task is to inspire. Whatever the trouble, the old Turi would deal with it. Okay. Ark City herself. 
the living mother goddess of humanity, first picked up the signal from Sophia, the Theurgo Altore. The signal's origin was far from the city walls in an area plagued with intense Furos activity. For Arx, the picture was clear. It was Arx who sent her on this secret mission, and she alone knew the consequences should Sophia not survive. Okay. Arx communicated a short message to Galdir. No other Alture was included on the transmission. My child, gather your courage. I need you to collect my sarcophagus for an urgent mission. You must leave the city immediately. Tell no one. Let your wisdom guide me, mother, and I will be the weapon in your hands. Ark's consciousness, sheathed in an ancient device known as the sarcophagus, followed Galdir out of the city. Together, they headed into Furo's territory. Galdir scanned their surroundings constantly, ready to counter any threat. The only place he never allowed his eyes to stray was the bleak, gray disk of the corrupted moon above. All right, <laughs> so much story. I think I might actually have to rewatch that at some point because uh, so many names of locations and characters and uh, yeah, but sounds really interesting. Uh, sarcophagus was how it's pronounced, I think. <laughs> I mispronounced it at first, uh, but yeah, well, English is not my first language, so please bear with me. Furo scouts have tracked us down. Do what you must, my son. A defensive strategy is our best course of action. Protect the sarcophagus. The fate of your mission will be decided on the battlefield. Everything depends on your strength, cleverness and hopefully a little luck. Okay. Um, so uh, These twisted abominations are called Furos. They are the moon's servants and humanity's sworn enemies. Every creature on the battlefield has an attack value, measuring offensive potential and HP. The amount of damage a creature can sustain. Uh, okay, attack value and um, HP, I guess. All right. Galdir is known as the Shield of Arcs for good reason. While his fighting prowess is equal to any of the Altari, his real skill is in using Luma to defend his allies. Note that Galdir will be overwhelmed by the incoming damage, so we need to improve our position. Here are the powers available to play in battle. Okay. Let's summon this minion to help Galdir with the fight. Okay, it says something about this minion, I thought. Oh yeah, unstable mash. Four defense, three attack. That sounds nice. And four cost, I suppose. Yeah. This is optimal. Each power has an associated Luma cost to play. Got it. Since we're now out of Luma, it's time to end the turn and let combat play out. Saroma Altari. Nice. <laughs> Turn two. The Furos will swarm us, Galdia. Uh, will swarm us. Galdia, protect my sarcophagus above all else. Calm yourself, goddess. Victory shall be mine. The Ark sarcophagus is not designed for battle and must be protected at all costs. However, it is equipped with protect a predictive combat analysis, which allows you to calculate the results of your actions for every round of combat. Okay, so this is the damage that would go through. Okay, Rage Cannon. Uh, well, okay, got it. Each new turn allows Arcs to channel Luma and draw two additional powers from your Arcana. Okay. There are two types of power you can draw, minions and magicas. Magica, minion. Magicas are direct actions granting a tactical advantage. Let us use this one to destroy the Furos. Okay, two damage to the target minion. Cool stuff, let's do it. 
Fire Shark Boy. <laughs> yes! Crush them! Sure thing. Let's summon this minion to protect arcs in the top lane. It is time to finish this turn. Done. Alright, the minion survived. That's good. Um, they will outnumber us. We should focus on the leader. To win in battle against the Furos, you should destroy their leader. Uh, up there, okay. Uh, Mafrosi Sadistic, okay. Win the battle. Can do, I think. <laughs> Let's uh, get rid of this one. And this way we get some damage through. Uh, Galadia should get some damage through as well. And we can summon a creature. Um, I think we still want to protect our lane here, right? So let's put the minion here. Don't know what difference it makes how far in the front they are, but eh, this looks like a melee minion. So let's put it in the front. Nice. I guess we could have already won if I had put this one on another lane, but it's fine. We'll be we'll be all right, I think. Yeah. All right, cool so far. Area clear, victory. Let's continue. Loading, please wait. Please help me tap into this wellspring of Luma Blow. Agreed. Galdir's powerful forearms bulge as he kneels before his massive gauntlet, Earth Splitter, like a man worshipping at an altar. The Santitas Ultore are famous for their unbreakable discipline and martial prowess. This ritual is learned only by the greatest among them. Okay. <laughs> I like how they say, uh, does it here? Oh yeah, Galdia's powerful forearms. <laughs> well. No Duros may stand against me now. This power is almost limitless. Okay, don't be too confident. I sensed a rift during the ritual. Something powerful is stalking us. Hmm. Whatever it may be, there is no time. We must move at once if we are to save Sophia. These Furos are not so dangerous. Let's eliminate them as quickly as possible. Hold up, my scanners report something big approaching. Positioning is the most important part of combat. Right now, the Arc Sarcophagus is vulnerable to incoming damage. Yep, I noticed. Um, summon this minion to protect arcs in the top lane. Sure thing. Most of your minions have special abilities. This one deals damage to the enemy in the mirrored position when entering the battlefield. So it's possible to kill Furos before the battle begins. That sounds pretty useful. Uh, summon Echo Minion. Yep, will do. All according to plan. Win the battle. Okay. Will do. Let's end turn one. We are out of uh, Luma energy. So, yeah. Good first turn, but this one looks, well, at least lots of health. <laughs> Strong, not so much necessarily. These wicked beasts mix between beast and machine. Hover your cursor over this creature to inspect its abilities. They are extremely dangerous in large numbers and something else. Release your rage, Galdir. This is no time for hesitation. Sanctitas Ultari, no no fear. Win the battle. Yeah, I know, I will. <laughs> Just let me at them. Okay, yeah, we still have stuff here. Um, 
So whenever there are three or more behemoths on the battlefield, gain plus eight attack, plus eight, eight HP and corruption. Approximately 6,927 kilograms. Okay. Uh, this one doesn't have a weight, I guess. All right, all right. Um, well, I mean, I think we want to get some damage out. Um, this one is taken care of anyway. So let's just put the echo here. And also summon this one. That seems to be kind of the best use of... Uh, Maybe we can also put it here and protect uh, the one back here. Would be nice. Uh, like the, the one in the back, I mean. Uh, I hope that only the one in the front gets damage. We'll see. Yes, okay. So the front rows pr protect the back rows. That's good to know. Uh, I mean, I guess we knew because the arcs was protected if we put someone in front here. They keep coming. That's not good. Um, especially goddess I was born for war win the battle uh, well I guess some damage will get through now because we only have one creature to block these lanes not ideal but all right I guess we can't can we does this one have uh, I guess not uh, at least not yet any special abilities. Well, you go up here and we try to get rid of this one here as quickly as possible so that at least one of them is gone from the battlefield. All right, end the turn. Guess we take some damage on our sarcophagus. Oh, damn. They are three now. Those creatures are overwhelmed by corrupted power of the moon. They won't survive long under such influence. It is time to show them the true might of the Altari. Every character has an ultimate ability, which may be activated once you have enough energy. The Arc Sarcophagus generates one energy per turn. Right now you need one additional energy to activate Galdir's ultimate. Uh, some magicas like this one can generate additional energy. Okay. Then I guess we use it. Runic energy. Okay. Uh, I guess like this. Galdir, the time has come again. Activate Earth Splitter. Sanctitus Might. Okay. Um, huh. Yes, you are the Hand of Arcs. You are my weapon. Release your rage and show no mercy. Um. Well, that's all a bit creepy what uh, the Arx is saying as well. Like, <laughs> sounds a bit creepy at least. Uh, okay, well, uh, in any case, let's maybe put this one up here, down here. I'm not sure they deal no damage right now, so that's good. But I guess trying to break through might be a good choice. so that we can get rid of the remaining 9 HP here as quickly as possible. Okay. Huh. Oh well. That worked, I guess. <laughs> we broke their front line. Now we must eliminate their leader. Well, sadly, we broke the front line in the wrong places for that. But okay, win the battle. I'll try. Um... Okay, well, we can get rid of this one easily. That's nice. Can't really use this one properly, but um, whatever. Guess we just position this one down here to have something down here as well. Okay, end turn five. Now I feel like the audio is a bit silent, but I, I might try to fix that in editing if it's actually the case. Okay. Um, guess we put this one in front here. Oh, yeah, we should win right now, I guess. We break through in the center lane anyway, or can we use it on? No, we can't. 
Uh, well, definitely get how it works so far. Victory. Three decisive strikes. Galdir destroyed the final Furos. Even during the most frenzied combat, his will never wavered. His speed never slackened. His mind remained as clear as a freshwater pool. Indeed, <laughs> Ulturae are more than merely human. They are the hope of humanity. Okay, this, these comparisons. The powerful forearms and clear as a freshwater pool. That's all a bit <laughs> interesting lingo, but all right, all right. I, I can dig it. <laughs> the moon is active today. I can feel her poisonous attention. She will attempt to stop us, but I have a plan. Yes, I sense her testing my will, but Yago Dogma protects me. Goddess, did the ancestors abide by dogmas as we Saint Titus do? Yeah, ask some questions. They do not follow any dogmas, Galdir. It is why they were doomed to fall. The body of this Duro still contains an undamaged Arcana sail. I should consume it to enhance my abilities. No, you shouldn't. This looks creepy. <laughs> Don't eat the Dalek. <laughs> that is wise. We must take whatever advantage we can. I hope this Furos lived a short life. All right. How is this important? Yeah, ask more questions. Don't trust this goddess. These cells contain both the energy and identity of the Furos. When you consume it, you absorb all the experience stored inside, which is why it is sometimes quite painful. Be brave, my son. And hurry. The moon's presence grows with every passing minute. Okay. Arcana cell claim. This is your Arcana, the collection of powers available to you during combat. Okay, um, no mutations. Okay, got it. I'm ready to consume Arcana cells. I have recalibrated the sarcophagus modules to stabilize the process. Arcana cells are useful to expand your Arcana and add new powers. Yago, Saroma, Urso, and something. Powers granted by Arcana cells are highly dependent on the individual experience of the host Furos and the current phase of the moon, and therefore are impossible to predict. Uh, okay, so I guess I just pick whichever one looks uh, most interesting to me. Ah, okay, every Arcana cell grants three random powers, of which you can keep only one. Examine your options and choose. Okay, so I can examine my options. Um, initiation ability activated every time this minion summoned uh, to the battlefield. Shield squad protection, which absorbs incoming damage during the combat phase. Okay, 2-2 two, two minion for three Luma energy. 2-3 minion for 2 Lumar energy. Initiation stun this minion. Okay, aggressor. Ability activated every time this minion. Okay, so it's basically got a delay before it can act. And Aetherus. Um, 3 Luma, 3 1. Script generate plus 1 Luma. Script ability executed every turn. Okay, more Luma every turn. That sounds useful. I guess I'll take this one. All right, Zarchi or Zarki, I don't know. Goddess, during the ritual, I felt an unusual distortion in the Luma field, like an energy surrounding our enemy. I sensed it as well. Something big is about to happen. The celestial tyrant is angry. That's why our mission is so urgent. It's time to move on. All right. Another pack of Furos. I hate caterpillars, but I especially hate predatory levitating mutant caterpillars. Yeah, makes sense. Some minions and magicas can generate shields. During combat, shields protect the whole squad from incoming Furos damage. I saw. Summon the defense drone to protect Galdir's lane with shields. Okay. Shields will hold them. Good. 
win the battle. Sure thing, as always. Um, well, I guess it would be good to get this one as soon as possible, but that would mean we probably get hit by something. Huh. Well, let me think. Could play these two. But I'd really like the boost to Luma for the upcoming rounds. Ah, tough decisions. Hmm. Maybe for now I'll just put this one up here to protect myself a bit more. Yeah, well, I guess. Okay. Luma activity is well above normal. Moonstorm incoming. Win the battle. Whatever Moonstorm means. Doubt it's good. Okay, lots of enemies down here. I guess we better put something down there. Uh, well, we could get rid of at least one of them by placing this in a good position. Or we could get rid of the one up here. Uh, yeah, maybe let's do that. Not sure if this makes sense right now because, well, we don't have anyone on this lane to get the shields. Or will any, everyone anyway get shields? I'm not quite sure about it yet. I also don't know where the shields are shown. So that's a bit of a problem, but, uh, huh. well, whatever, let's try. Yeah, it's, okay, three shield on this lane. Okay, that's cool. Then that still made sense, I think. The moon has directly intervened to make the Fura stronger. Oh, damn. I will concentrate on the leader. If that one falls, the pack will scatter. Uh, win the battle, sure thing. Uh, what else would I do? <laughs> um, hmm. Well, let's place this one right here and... Um, Maybe generate some shield here. Alright. Oh damn. Uh, probably shouldn't let uh, our hero die. Galdia should survive. Those mutations channel life force into the leader. Okay, that's not good. Win the battle. Will do. <laughs> Stop pushing. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay, so we definitely should protect Galdia. I mean, I, I'm sure that Galdia would be around in the next uh, round anyway. Um, but uh, I would like to have Galdia around for this battle too. So how do we do this? Uh, we could use this one to get rid of uh, at least one of these enemies and also to protect Galdia in the back row. That's a good start. Um, we could also put this one here and take some, like a bit of Luma boost for the next round. Yeah, that's good, I guess. Mm, damn, some damage getting through to the sarcophagus. Ooh, damn. It seems like we get permanent damage through the storm too. That's not good. How about a helping hand from, que from the Queen of Arcs? I will gra take that green cutie myself. Okay. <laughs> Not sure if cutie is the right word, but all right. Uh, Amara? But how did you find us? It wasn't so difficult. The moon herself just re released an insane amount of energy. And that is the downside of power. The moon cannot hide its presence. Also, Geldir has never been very good at stealth. Okay, 
Note that Amara has her own ultimate ability, which you can activate with energy. Yeah, I, I thought so. Seems like another hero. Queen's Dance. Amara gains 3 attack on one turn and plus 3 HP and fights enemies with highest HP value. Sounds cool, let's do that. Um, Ah, okay, I can only use one of the, the alts. That's good to know. <laughs> Would have liked to know that sooner, but whatever. Uh, yeah, let's uh, put some defense on the lane down here, I guess. Better. Okay, I hope that no more damage comes through. Oh, we already won. Well, but uh, yeah, we took quite a bit of damage. We have to keep that uh, that in check. Keep an eye on that. In the next rounds got a meta cube. Cool stuff. <laughs> Select target. No disrespect, but that fight would have been much easier if I had been invited. Instead, I had to rush from the city to save your hide at the last possible moment. Next time, Amara, please. It was our mistake. You have our gratitude for your timely assistance. So it was you who followed us. I'm glad to have such a powerful Altori by my side. So what's your plan? You do have one, right? Sure thing. We did not have time to run a complete scan of this territory, but the area is heavily populated with Furos. Uh, thanks, I noticed. Funny how your Sanctitas strategies always end with a charge blindly forward approach. <laughs> Doubt corrupts courage. As the great Sanctitas said a few centuries back, it is not your mind. You must please save the preaching for your recruits. Sophia's distress signal leads here. I have no information about this place, but we must save her. Uh, hold on, I have the meta cube, so let's prepare for the next battle. New mutations available. Meta cubes are useful to fine tune your arcana and tailor an effective strategy for the mission. Uh, Every meta cube allows you to mutate a single power in your arcana, altering its effect. Okay. Each magicka and minion can be mutated in two different ways. That's a pretty cool mechanic. Tactical drone and scout drone. Initiation ability, yeah, I know what initiation is. Okay, uh, initiation get generate plus two shields. Script generate plus two shields. That's really cool. Initiation uh, generate plus two shields in each squad. But it's, I, I think squads are the lanes. Um, but yeah, I think. That's a total of six shields. I think if we protect the tactical drone, it will generate more than that. And it's cheaper, so tactical drone it is. Yeah. All right. It is time for us to face our fate. It is time for our revenge. I'm ready to kill some Furos. Saroma Altari. Amara danced about the last staggering Furos, masterfully piercing him with the rapier more than a dozen times before the final blow sent him to the ground with a reverberating crash. Despite the fevered melee, the so-called Queen of Arcs remained fresh and composed, her beauty untroubled, while the heavily breathing Galdir was plastered head to toe with sweat and blood. <laughs> okay, yeah, a bit cliché. The beautiful female warrior and the sweaty, disgusting, <laughs> brute dude. <laughs> ah well, whatever. This dirty place is the source of Sophia's signal. Her mental imprint is fading. We have approximately 1.932 hours before it is too late. <laughs> 1.932 hours or 89 minutes. <laughs> okay. Let me set up some drone scouts to survey the area. I'm leery of walking into a trap. Okay. We don't have time for reconnaissance. We have to move. 
Zarola Altori. <laughs> Santidas Altori raised Earth Splitter above his head and shattered the entry portal. But do not suppose Galdir is as reckless as he appears. One of the key Santidas dogmas is Remoro, which means many as one. He would, without hesitation, take any risk to save Sophia. Yeah, okay. He's he's the dwarf from uh, the dungeon of Nahalbok. <laughs> or maybe the barbarian. Or a mix of both. But like just smashing the portal. That's dwarf. <laughs> As I told you before. Now, let's clean up this mess. Yeah. Furos Akuma, a hybrid silicon life form. Don't be fooled by their appearance. They react to motion and will grow stronger with every minion we put on the field. That's not good. I have fought their kind before. Precise calculation is is the key to victory. Win the battle, sure thing. So I guess we want to put strong minions, preferably, and... Um, not too many but well I guess in any case we have to put two <laughs> uh, well if we put this here it should be enough to defeat those enemies here so that's something here should also be enough right check again initiation gain a three attack until the end of the turn so that's four five they don't go, grow too strong, it should be enough, but I can't really be sure of that. Uh, so yeah, and also um, uh, she has, l uh, Mara has less health, so okay. So they, ah, uh, okay, here it says, uh, uh, so a million, then Morta gain plus one attack and lose one HP. That uh, would have been nice to know sooner. Oh uh, well. What, whatever, I guess. Um, yeah, so let's put you down here just to, or I think they have like <laughs> trample damage. I guess they still damage the characters behind if they uh, have more damage than necessary. So that's a bit of a problem, but uh, I don't want to waste my tactical drone. So yeah, echo, you're, you're in charge here. Yeah, okay, but this one should still die. That's nice. Yeah, this this wasn't too bad. This is a bit of a problem here. Three damage, but also not critical. So it's all right. And we have 40 HP on the arcs, so that's good. Okay, what's with them? Careful, these ones react to magicka. Furos often prioritize Altari with low HP. Right now, Amara is in danger of being knocked out. Amara, take cover! Don't worry, I'm an Architectus. That's good, I suppose. Kinetic Shell. Target Altari gain plus one attack, protection and set HP to one. Uh, okay, and I want to do that. Why? <laughs> Uh, what's protection? Uh, grants immunity to single source of damage. So one lane attacking is a single source of damage or... Ah, whatever. We'll find out, I guess. Okay, but eight... Eight damage would go through, but it's nine attacks, so I guess Amara still takes one damage. I don't know guess we'll find out <laughs> so we can get rid of this one that's good and then we can also summon this or this maybe the shield drone would be the better choice so let's first strike this one down yeah well they lost HP and no more damage gets through that's not ideal but uh, I guess we'll be fine I think I think we should be fine probably Let's get some defense on this lane here. Or this lane. Yeah, let's protect the bottom lane. Alright. We're done. Okay, so Amara survived. That's good. But now there's more enemies. Uh, we're outnumbered. We have to retreat. 
No, overload my sarcophagus and show them the might of the ancients. Energy can be used to overload the Ark sarcophagus and de uh, to devastating effect. Uh, okay. Accumulate 8 energy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try. Uh, we have some energy here. But 8, that will take a while. Alright, alright, let's see what we can do. We can definitely get rid of this one in the second row here, that's good. It's definitely helping. Um, okay. Uh, let's put the Naga here. Okay, not much damage getting through. Um, I guess we use this uh oh damn guess we use this on this one here <laughs> because otherwise uh galdia will die and that wouldn't be great okay well and turn damn oh no no amara fell Focus on energy accumulation. Yeah, well, I'm trying. Accumulate eight energy, draw two powers. Uh, what are powers? Damn, we wouldn't survive this round right now. Okay, let's draw two powers, I guess. still won't make it to eight right now that is a problem <laughs> definitely taking too much damage right here mm. well let's protect this one um. mm. using these two might kill them right because this is Magicka, so they should get more damage, but also lose health. So that might be useful. Yep, that should work. Good. That definitely reduces the damage we take by quite a bit. So that's cool. Sadly, our tactical drone will fall. That is not good, but let's see. might get to 8 if we draw 2 powers, so let's try I suppose. Also these should all die if we use the... that's not a power. Okay, I guess everything is a power. But still we should get to 8, maybe we win then. Witness my rage. I'm witnessing. Let's coordinate an attack before their leader recovers. Yep, let's do that. Win the battle. I'm trying, but it's hard. Can't do anything else. Oh, I can. Oh, I was a bit confused there. Um, well, they should all fall if I summon a minion, right? So that's good. Um, okay, so you go down here. And then we should deal quite a bit of damage this turn, which is great. Yeah, should be enough. Nice. Huh. Okay, but this was this was rough. Felt rough at least. Okay. We are the sacred mother of humanity. We are the spirit of vengeance and the symbol of mankind's might. Forward, Otori! Fear not this bloody moon. Tonight we are victorious! Tonight we strike back! <laughs> That's a pretty intense goddess. <laughs> I I got to say the moon attempted to directly influence the battle. This is rare. Yes. Because she needs Sophia. Let's put paid to her wicked plans. 
Sophia was found pale and exhausted in a Furos prison. Clearly, she had been psychically tortured by her captors. We found her, but I've never seen a prison cell like this. The bars are made from pure Luma streams. How is that possible? I don't know. Stop! Not one more step. If you had lived as long as I, you would recognize these beams as sustainable Z inverse rays. Of course. If you act the typical <laughs> Sancti task and charge it with your weapon, the wave desynchronization would kill us all in the next instant. Let the Architectus handle this. Yeah, seriously, dude. Chill. <laughs> After some quick calculations, Amara launched a few drones in the air. Using Luma from the Arc Sarcophagus, she discharged a massive energy surge into the Z and burst rays, which slowly degraded until the cell was no more. As always, Galdir was glad to have Amara on the team, even though terms such as dogma and discipline meant nothing to her. That's good. <laughs> Sophia had been weakened by her ordeal and clung shaking to Galdir for support, but at least she was alive. For several minutes, she tearfully repeated, I will not, before coming fully to her senses. No one would ever know the scars this episode had left upon her. For 62 hours, a battle raged within the mind of the greatest Theurgo Altori. The celestial tyrant lacks even the smallest shred of mercy. I was strong at first, strong enough to withstand every assault to see through every feint, but the moon's patience and cunning are endless. My resources are not. Worse, there is no time here where I am tortured, only the slowly encroaching wave of blackness. It is warm and full of familiar voices, promising sleep, release, death. Were it only so easy, I would readily succumb. But the darkness is the moon's final ruse. To sink into its bottomless embrace is to surrender my greatest secret. Knowledge shared with no living being. Not even Ox. Something which could very well decide the fate of humanity. This must not come to pass. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, dearest, I want a hug from each of you. I'm so happy to see you again. Sorry for the delay. We met with formidable resistance along the way. We should return to the city. The moon herself... Oh, damn, I accidentally clicked. You're right, but we uh, probably interfered with the battle. <laughs> Uh, you're right, but we cannot go back just yet. Before I was captured, I tracked the signature of a very powerful Furus to this vicinity. It's something completely new and deadly dangerous. We need to investigate. Come on, we see new types of Furus every other decade. Let's regroup in the city first. Besides, you don't look at all prepared for combat. Um, by my command, we will investigate. Oh, I thought this was um, the barbarian, but it was Sophia, so I might have read that weird, but uh, you're right, but we cannot go back just yet, so signature, powerful furos, let's investigate, and uh, Arx is commanding that we do investigate. Alright, alright, proceed to the furos delecti location. We'll do start event. Birth of delecti. After a few hours of travel, Sophia abruptly came to a halt and closed her eyes. What is it now? Amara asked, irritated. The group gathered around Sophia. The Altari was silently moving her arms in a series of weird and intricate ge gestures. Finally, Sophia spoke. I sense the mental signatures of Furos Delecti here, beneath our feet. That's not good. I'll set up a secure perimeter, Galdia said. We should run a detailed scan. The Sanctitas was already in motion, but Amara interrupted him at once. No need, she said. I've located three access points. Sophia's right. There's a sizable Furo structure just beneath us, but it seems to be empty. Children, we must enter the structure and investigate. Arx's tone made it plain there would be no further discussion. 
The Altori crept cautiously through the empty halls and corridors at the f uh, of the Furos. I can yet see their shadows here, Sophia said hesitantly. This complex was swarming with the enemy less than, our, than in our past, and one of them was an unusual new type, Furos Delecti. Finally, the team reached a huge chamber of unfam unfamiliar devices, numerous chains and racks of biological samples. Near the ceiling there were many small windows of an unusual material which focused the light. The room was bright with the amplified beams of the moon. Oh holy sun, the blood drained from Sophia's face. Okay, I guess the, the moon is strong in here. Something terrible happened in this place, a wicked experiment conceived by the arch-enemy uh, arch herself. Tears streaked down the old Altari's lined face. This is where she created Furos Delecti, an abom abomination fused together from Furos, beasts, trees and even humans. She even used... Sophia felt silent. She would not reveal that smallest part of her knowledge. She had been forced to surrender while captured, something the enemy had masterfully applied in designing this new type of Furos. Amara broke the silence. However terrible it seems, I'm certain we can chase down and kill this thing. On, and on the positive side, we have a rare opportunity to study an, an, an intact Furos lab. Don't waste a moment, gather whatever samples we can carry. Were it up to me, I'd burn this place to ashes and continue our mission. Galdia's voice, amplified by his helmet, echoed across the empty room. Do not forget that to tarry is to risk our minds being infected by the Furos virus. <sighs> Stay and glean whatever knowledge is possible. Altari upgrade plus one, Arcs HP plus ten, two Luma Parasite added to Arcana. Too dangerous, we have to move on. Altari upgrade plus one. So we have to decide if we increase the Arc's HP by 10 and take two Luma Parasites to our uh, Arcana, which seems to be our deck, uh, or we just skip the HP boost and have no crap in our deck. Uh, huh. <laughs> Interesting. I guess the Parasite will just have no effect or negative effects and will at least clutter up our inventory. Um, I think... Uh, I think I'll go with Galdir on this one. I don't want crap in our inventory. Um, although it might be interesting to explore... Explore this. I'm not sure. No, too dangerous, we have to move on. Seven Luma, Luma mines were placed for maximum impact, impact and ten minutes later the Altori were on the trail of Furus Delecti with a series of explosions urging them on. Altori upgrade one. Okay. After important milestones, your Altori will gain additional abilities. Upgrade points one. Okay. Choose the new ability that best suits your playstyle. Whenever Amara takes damage, she gains plus one attack. Galdia moves one position forward on the battlefield and gains two HP. Draw one additional power at the beginning of every turn. Um, don't think Amara is like the tank character here. Uh, but, well, I guess that's that's Amara's path, but still, Galdir's ability seems pretty cool, but one additional power at the beginning of every turn, that is cool. So yeah, let's, let's do that. Confirm. Alright, Galdir, let's find this Furos Delecti. So next thing would be, at turn start, if you have eight or more powers in hand, Sophia generates one shield in each squad. At the beginning of the turn, if enemy leader has eight or less HP, generate five energy and Sophia gains corruption. So that would be a nice finisher and that would be, well, nice protection. Okay, well, that would speed up the battle, that would protect us to keep the battle going uh, longer, so that's interesting. Well, back to the map. Here, it was not hard to track. This fiend radiates power. Alright. 
Amara, the bigger the beast, the greater the glory. But first we need to decide which route to follow. Um, okay, we are at 55 minutes. I think I'll try to make it this far, but uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, okay, Metacube 2 or Altari Upgrade 1. So improve our cards or improve, improve our Altari. Um, I like the mutation of cards, so let's check this out for now, I guess. Wise choice. The queen is ready. Okay, so uh, let's start. Pack of Euros, prepare for battle. Should not take much time. Let's hope. Okay, seems like we might be through the tutorial phase, so let's uh, let's get things going. Um, yeah, let's not use this right now. Uh, we still have six Luma power. This would give us a bit more, which is nice. Um, mm hmm. Well, that is <laughs> that is super useful right now. Um, yeah. Nice, but now, oh damn. Uh, I, uh, okay, I guess we have like evil parasite minions on our hand now. Okay, so that's what would have been added to our deck, I think. Well, could be worse, I think. Uh, let's put this here, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Ah, should have been more in the back, but whatever. Because this is also one that I would like to protect, but it's alright. It's gotta be... Yeah, okay, so now we have a bit of a problem here. Uh... So we can't really do much about this one back here. So our Luma generating uh, Aetherus is gonna die, which is sad, but not too much we can do about it, I think. Um, don't have shields in the squad, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is good. Um, maybe we still want to put this one here. So that uh, Galdia doesn't get hurt. Okay, good stuff. Furosomatic, very tricky to, de to deal with. Their tactic is to infect the mind and slowly corrupt our arca arcana. Yeah, I found out the hard way. Um, win the battle, sure thing. So we could use this, but they will probably mm, like even put more crap on our hand. Let's see what happens if we have limited space. Let's. Uh, Let's just hope that it doesn't replace. It does replace something else at the end here. Okay, but that means we can get rid of this by pushing them out to the side, I guess. So that's good. Um, at least something. Um, let's get rid of that one in the back there. And then we're done for this turn. All right. Damn, what's this? Uh, Sophia's ultimate can help you if you get stuck without powers or luma. Okay. Abilities, draw one additional power at the beginning of every turn. Yeah, we have uh, taken that. Alter future, discard your hand and draw five powers at one luma. That is pretty cool, but not strictly necessary right now. I mean, we still have stuff we can play, so... Maybe it's not what we want right now.
because we will push them out anyway, ideally, I think. So, well, we have to protect Sophia down here. So let's put the Naga here and maybe, maybe another one or maybe one up here. Yeah, I guess that's reasonable, probably. Although, uh, let's just let Amara take a bit of damage. Alright. And turn. I think we're doing well. Yeah, definitely. Alright. Yeah, we we should be winning right now. That's good. <laughs> I like it. So... Um, what was this? Okay, they all have one HP, so that's good. Um, yeah, it will push all these parasites on my hand, but that's okay. We are done now anyway. Uh, I thought it would defeat them all because they all had, had one HP. Ah, oh, crap. Well... <sighs> I guess that was not the case. Um, I'll just sit there then and um, hit one of them. And we should have one anyway. By now, yeah. Should be good. Can still use this, I guess. Yeah, alright. We're done. And we win. <laughs> cool stuff. That wasn't too hard. Reward to Metacubes, as promised. We're close. Let's take a quick rest and cleanse our minds. Uh, to cleanse our minds and push forward. Sure thing. Um, let's check the Arcana. And... Um, new mutations available. Let's see what we can... Uh, an upgrade and in which ways so uh, select powers to upgrade this one can't be upgraded further right no we could just change I guess so what's with this one okay this is locked Vendigo deals two damage to enemy in mirrored position uh, also more HP but also one one uh, one additional Luma cost so eh. defense drone we know tactical and scout drone and this one, Lamia, all creatures creatures in the stack gain plus one attack until the end of the turn. That's, uh, that can be really, really useful um, if you have many minions out. What about this one? Thera 7, generate plus two Luma, but no attack anymore. And less health, but if you can protect that one, that could be super powerful. Uh, what was oh, mesh 722 initiation gain protection whoa and 10 health whoa but only two at oh and seven seven oh that's a that's a bit much what about these things um goddess authority deal two damage to the target minion and two damage to furious leader okay that's all right i guess but could be better equality shackles hp of all minions on the battlefield is set to one <laughs> that can be pretty useful um runic energy soul repurpose destroy target allied minion and generate plus two energy eh, not sure volatile barrage suppress a fire deal four damage to all creatures in the target squad diffusive diffusive can only be you uh, can be used only once during the battle okay uh, that's really powerful what about this draw three powers <laughs> good stuff and consume shields energy riff gain plus two luma for each shield and target squad so then destroy all shields in the squad diffusive okay so I guess the cards that are not diffusive get well, the powers get put back in our deck, probably. Uh, somehow I feel like upgrading this this to a Thera 7. Because 
getting two more Luma. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. We have one more. What about this one? Uh, maybe another... Another tactical drone. I mean, I, I really like them. So... Why not? Tactical drones seem amazing. Yeah. What does this mean? Oh well. Here we are. Um, Alright, ready to continue to the creepy thing. I can sense that Furus Delecti nearby. Let's warm up on his brothers. Win the battle. I'll try. Okay. Um, maybe I'll just use the brutal strike so that no one gets hurt. That sounds good. Um, and put this down here. Yeah, you're a good frontline defense. My sensors are picking up the Delecti signature. It is an intelligent plant form, about three meters tall with psionic abilities. Nothing special. I have seen into its heart, Amara. Hungry, treacherous, ruthless. Win the battle. Sure thing. Um, yeah, generating shields sounds amazing. Um, I wish I could get rid of this one without... Um, oh well, I can. When this one generates the shields, uh, it should be fine, right? Alright, good stuff. Yeah, perfect. So, that's amazing. And we would be ready, but I mean, we can also use some stuff, like generate energy. We have uh, time to do it right now, so let's use that time. Could also draw two powers, but that might be... Uh, whatever, I'll do it. I thought it might be more useful later when you want to clear stuff from your hand, but whatever, we have the resources right now, so let's use them. I think that's it. Oh, damn. <laughs> Furos Delecti Kirei. Um, gain plus one attack until the end of turn for each power plate. Moonshell. Vicious, succulent, hungry for luma and blood. Poor soul, what has she done to you? Subdue your emotions. It's time to uproot this weed. There's no time for chat. Stay behind me and focus on the fight. Alright, so what does Moonshell mean? I don't know. Set the Oda there it says. Cannot be targeted by magicka powers. That's alright, I guess. <sighs> so that would be useful up here and down here, so maybe we just do that in both of those squads. Yeah, sounds good I guess. Oh damn, five damage on uh, Galdia. Um, stun three enemy creatures, that should be useful. Um, okay, that's not too useful. Yeah, okay, I guess we use this and it's random, but it was still all right. So yeah, this is good, nice, and turn three. Okay, um, 
Hm? Things are definitely getting more complicated now. Uh, I guess getting some shields down here sounds nice. And uh, what was that? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Gets more attack for each power I use, but that's all right, I guess. Um, all right. I would like to put something here to reduce. Okay, that one would die right now. That's not good. So let's put this here rather, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. Nice. I mean, Galdir can take some more damage. Yeah, that was good. Okay, that's not too bad. I think... So we can use this to get rid of one of them, which is nice. Um, we sadly have these Fungari on our hands now, but or on our hand. That should be fine. Um, yeah, I think we're doing really well, honestly. Mm, we don't want Galdir to die though. So let's put the Naga here. Was it a Naga? Yes, Naga. Hey, I'm learning the names. <laughs> Should be. Yeah, it's enough to let uh, Galdia survive for another round. That's good. Mm -hmm. Really like to defeat this uh, Kire. Kire. Uh, yeah, let's see how we do that or go about that. I mean, right now, what's this one doing? One damage to arcs for each Fungari in your hand. Eh, that's not nice. Um, that's pretty useful. die I don't want that uh, damn so I guess we put this here I still want my shield creating minion to survive all right Done for now I could have won if I had just defeated this one but somehow I want to see this one fall <laughs> but I guess that's not really necessary so yeah Ah, damn, I should have used this one first. Eh, too late now. Can I use this on a fallen hero? No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's over now, in any case. Yep. Alright, nice. Seems like the run is over. Run the result. City, it stood for 3,294 years, and will survive many more, thanks to the old Tory heroes. You're welcome. <laughs> was a perilous mission. Our department was rushed and we were underprepared. We faced many battles, one with the direct intervention of the moon, before liberating Sophia. I will write an epic verse reflecting the glory of these events, once we are home again. <laughs> oh, you're a writer? That's unexpected. Alright. Write that epic verse. Oh, God. 
dear. Are you still writing those <laughs> little poems? Uh, don't forget to mention how we defeated the Furos Delecti. Cute little poems. <laughs> My friends, we defeated just one. But there are many others, all goaded forward by the relentless moon. We must regroup and plan our next mission. Okay. Definitely like that they added that uh, facet to Galadia. Makes him a bit less of the stereotypical brute barbarian kind of character and adds a bit more depth to it. So that's cool. Once again, the Otore returned <sighs> victorious, renewing the people's hope. As long as humanity has the power to fight back, there is yet a possibility to reclaim what is ours. Many years of sacrifice and many difficult battles lay ahead. But today, Ark celebrates victory. Right, there's still hope. Thank you for playing. All right, um, let's head back to the main menu, I guess. Um, and yeah, now we should be ready for the Monstro mission. Um, I'm not sure if these are actually not implemented yet. I mean, I'm playing a bit uh, before the official release, so it might still take a bit for these to be added to the game. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I think I'll end this episode here. But I'm probably going to go back to this game pretty soon because I really like what I've seen so far. Uh, I like the gameplay, I like the options, upgrading your... Um, your your powers is a really cool feature i also like the story <laughs> seems still like a pretty epic tale and like this battle between humanity and the moon it's yeah really interesting also still wondering if uh the arcs the goddess is uh is really the ben benevolent leader that uh, that she's supposed to be. I'm not quite sure. I mean, <laughs> definitely pretty bossy, but um, that doesn't have to be like, uh, doesn't have to mean that she's evil and the moon creatures definitely don't seem to be nice. So that's uh, definitely, uh, yeah. I mean, torturing someone is, uh, definitely not acceptable <laughs> so yeah uh, i'm i'm looking forward to discovering how this story develops further and yeah i enjoyed the gameplay i hope you enjoyed watching me play um if so please leave a thumbs up if not leave a thumbs down and if you've got anything to tell me as always head down to the comment section and tell me what's on your mind so yeah, um, other than that, you could obviously follow me and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube or like follow me on Twitch and Twitter. That would be pretty cool. Uh, and if you subscribe on YouTube, also remember to hit the bell notification button so that you get notified when I upload a new video. That would be awesome. All right, so yeah, done for today. Looking forward to more, but yeah, I'm signing off for now. So. Hopefully see you again next time. Until then, take care. Bye.